Ever noticed how some cars barely whisper down the street, while others roar so loud you can hear them from a block away? That difference isn't just the engine, it's the exhaust system. We'll start with the basics, break down the most popular setups, and I'll even share some myths and fun facts that most people don't know. Here's the truth. The wrong exhaust setup can choke your engine, kill your power, and waste your money. But get it right? Your car sounds better, runs smoother, and might even gain horsepower. So, whether you're into quiet daily drivers, sporty weekend machines, or full-blown turbo builds, this video has something for you. Let's start simple. The single exit exhaust. This is what you'll find on most cars on the road today. Toyota, Honda, Nissan, you name it. One pipe, one tip, job done. So, how do they work? A single exhaust system utilizes a single pipe to expel exhaust gases from the engine. They are a common factory-installed option in many vehicles. On engines like V6 or V8, you'll usually see a Y-pipe that combines gases from both sides of the engine into a single pipe. From there, the gases flow through the muffler and out the back. This streamlined design of a single exhaust pipe allows for smoother airflow. The good part? It's cheap, reliable, and does exactly what it needs to. But here's the catch. It's not built for performance. Single exhaust systems are known for their efficiency in expelling exhaust gases, ensuring proper engine performance and fuel efficiency. If you're looking for a practical and budget-friendly option, this might be the right choice for you. The only noteworthy drawback of this exhaust system is its limited absolute flow, as it is restricted to the diameter of a single tubing. Now, here's a fun fact. A lot of people think slapping on a huge single exhaust tip will instantly add horsepower. Nope. In fact, if the pipe is too big, it can actually hurt performance because the gases slow down instead of speeding up. So, single exit is equal to efficient and practical. Great for daily drivers, but not very exciting. The main con of a single exhaust system is that you just aren't going to see the same power or fuel economy benefits as you would with a dual exhaust system because it only has one exit pipe. Anything a single exhaust can do, a dual exhaust can do two times better because of that extra pipe. So, if single pipes are restrictive, does that mean dual is always better? Not exactly. Next up, dual exhausts. This is where things start to get sporty. You'll see them on muscle cars like the Dodge Charger, performance sedans like the BMW M3, and even some SUVs that want to look more aggressive. What is dual pipe? The idea behind duals is simple. Instead of one pipe, you've got two separate pipes carrying gases out of the engine. That means the exhaust has more room to flow, which can help larger engines breathe better resulting in a better airflow and less restriction, which means more power. Plus, it gives you that deeper, more aggressive sound. And honestly, a lot of people love the way it looks. Two fat tips sticking out the back just scream power. But here's a little industry trick. Not every dual exhaust is real. Some cars just have two tips welded to the same pipe, completely fake. It looks sporty, but you're not actually getting better performance. Many factory dual exit cars still run a single pipe most of the length of the car and split only at the muffler. A true dual system keeps two pipes all the way from the engine to the tail tips. Dual exhausts really make sense on higher powered engines, usually V6, V8, or bigger. They reduce back pressure, letting the engine breathe more freely, which can give a small horsepower bump, especially on larger engines. But on smaller engines, that second pipe doesn't really add much performance. It's more for looks and sound. However, dual exhaust systems can present challenges such as space limitations, intricate installation procedures, and higher costs compared to single exhaust setups. Dual exhausts are heavier, 
more expensive, and not always necessary. If you're driving a small four-cylinder car, you probably won't notice much difference compared to a single exhaust. Upgrading makes sense when you've already done other mods, like intake, tune, or headers, basically when your engine can actually push more air. But if your car is stock and small, you won't feel much difference. Duels shine on muscle cars, trucks, and performance builds, anywhere you want both power and presence. But on the flip side, in places with strict noise or emission laws, a modified dual setup can get you into trouble. Bottom line, dual exhausts can improve performance on bigger engines and definitely sound better, but they're not always worth it unless your car is built to take advantage of them. Performance exhaust. This is where people start dropping money. Performance pipes, cat backs, aftermarket systems. But what actually changes? A performance exhaust is designed to improve airflow, reduce restrictions, and often give you that louder, sportier sound. The goal is simple. Let the engine breathe easier, and it can make more power. But the actual benefits depend on the car. On some engines, the gains might be small, maybe just a few extra horsepower and better sound. On others, especially when paired with tuning and other upgrades, the difference can be huge. So a performance exhaust isn't just about being louder. It's about balancing flow, sound, and efficiency to get the most out of your engine. There are a few common types of performance exhaust setups, catback systems and axle-back systems. Let's start with catback exhaust system. The name says it all. It starts right after the catalytic converter and runs all the way back to the tailpipe. This is one of the most popular upgrades for car enthusiasts. A catback frees up airflow, which means more horsepower, and it changes the car's sound completely. Let's take an example. A stock Volkswagen GTI sounds tame from the factory. Throw on a cat back, and suddenly it's burbling and popping, much more exciting. Now, here's the myth. People often think a cat back alone will give massive horsepower gains. But in reality, it depends on the car. Some see 5 to 10 horsepower, others almost none. The real benefit is the sound and the overall driving experience. And that's why catbacks are so popular. They make your car feel alive without going full race car mode. But if you want something more aggressive, there's another setup that replaces even more of the exhaust. And that's where things get really interesting. We'll get into that in a moment. Axle back setup starts at the rear axle and runs all the way to the exhaust tips. Unlike a cat back, it doesn't touch the mid-pipe or catalytic converter. Those stay completely stock. So, what are you really changing here? The muffler, tailpipe, and the tips. This is one of the easiest and most affordable upgrades, and the main benefit is sound. Stock cars can feel muted, but with an axle back, you get a deeper, sportier tone that transforms the driving experience. For example, a Mustang GT with a stock exhaust sounds tame. But throw on an axle back and suddenly you've got that classic V8 growl. Now, here's the thing. Axle backs don't usually add much horsepower, since they don't free up airflow like bigger systems. But they're perfect if you want better sound and style without spending big or worrying about emissions. Cat back versus axle back. What's the difference and which one should you choose? 
Let's start with performance, because that's usually the first thing people care about. A catback exhaust system replaces everything from the catalytic converter to the tailpipe. It improves engine performance by making airflow better and cutting down exhaust back pressure. That usually means more power. An axle back exhaust system only swaps parts after the rear axle, like mufflers and tips. It can raise horsepower a bit, but it doesn't help torque or overall engine power much compared to catbacks. If you want real enhanced vehicle power, go for a catback. They deliver better results in terms of performance exhaust systems. Next up, sound. Because let's be real, a lot of people upgrade exhausts just for the way it makes the car feel when you rev it. An axle back makes a sporty exhaust sound by changing just the muffler and tip. It adds sharp tones near the tailpipe without touching stuff before the rear axle. A cat back gives richer and deeper sounds. It replaces more pipes behind the catalytic converter so you get aggressive sound notes all over the RPM range. And finally, cost, because budget always plays a role. Axle back systems usually costs less because they swap fewer parts, mostly mufflers and tips. They're also easy to install. Catbacks cost more since they replace pipes too, but that brings bigger power gains. But if sound and flow are your goal, what about going all the way back to the turbo? That's where turbo back systems come in. These are only for turbocharged cars, like a Subaru WRX, Mitsubishi Evo, or Volkswagen Golf R. A turbo back replaces everything, starting right from the turbocharger, through the downpipe, midpipe, muffler, all the way to the tailpipe. The result? Massive performance gains. A less restrictive turbo back means the turbo spools faster, you get more horsepower, and the car sounds completely different. Stock systems usually restrict gases to meet noise and emission standards. A turbo back removes many of those restrictions. When you're thinking about buying a turbo back exhaust system, there are a few big things to keep in mind. First is the type of car you're working with. Not every system fits every model, so you'll want to make sure you're looking at one that's built specifically for your car before you start shopping. Next is the material. Stainless steel is the most durable and long-lasting, but it usually comes at a higher price. Aluminized steel is cheaper, and titanium, if your budget stretches, gives you strength and lighter weight. Then comes sound. Turboback systems can get loud. Some people love that, but it's important to check your local noise laws first so you don't end up with fines or frustrated neighbors. And finally, performance. Depending on your engine and setup, a turboback can add serious horsepower, especially if you pair it with tuning. On other cars, the gains might be smaller. Doing some research or talking to a mechanic will help you figure out what makes the most sense for your build. So, while a turboback can transform a car, the right choice really depends on your car, your budget, and what you want out of it. And here's a pro tip. Most people who install a turbo back also get a custom ECU tune. Without it, you're not unlocking the full power, and in some cases, you can even damage the engine. So here's final thoughts. Single exit exhaust systems are simple, affordable, reliable, but not sporty. Dual exits have sporty look, deeper sound, sometimes more flow. Catbacks are best aftermarket upgrade, great sound, mild performance. And turbo back system gives maximum power for turbo cars, but pricey and not always legal. So that's all about exhaust systems. Now I want to hear from you. If you could upgrade your car's exhaust, which system would you go for? Drop your choice in the comments. I'd love to see what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.